It's the middle of the night and Victoria is in pain again. She has complex regional pain syndrome known as CRPS. It can keep her up all night when the pain is the worst. Before CRPS came, I, I, I had my life. I had a fantastic time. I was with my husband. We got a new house. I got a job. I was um, trained as a barrister and I knew what, what, what we wanted. Um, unfortunately, CRPS came and the pain hit like a train. I wasn't used to losing friends. I wasn't used to the pain. I wasn't used to all the signs and symptoms. Every day brought a new challenge. At one point, I did hate life. Oh, is it good? Victoria had an accident at work where she fell down the stairs and damaged major soft tissue. As a result of CRPS, she lost both of her legs. She now needs 57 tablets a day to cope with her pain. It took me seven months to get diagnosed. I saw about 39 doctors and specialists to get to that point. I had many signs and symptoms of CRPS. The main ones that caused the amputation was the ulceration and total skin breakdown. Victoria has an aggressive type of CRPS, but for others, it doesn't always result in amputation. To provide help, often loved ones become carers. I had to stop work because Victoria needed more increasing help at home. So I left my full-time job and became self-employed. So I started taxi driving. The impact this condition CRPS has on me is basically I'm constantly on duty. I have to constantly plan, think ahead every time we do anything at home or going outside. To develop CRPS you need a period of immobilisation in the limb or a period where you can't use the limb for whatever reason, maybe after surgery. The bottom line is that we don't know what causes CRPS. We know that for any chronic disease people's mental health is very important co-determinant and you need to treat both their mental health and the disease process to move them forward. Most people's mental health problems with chronic pain in my experience are driven by the chronic pain rather than driving the chronic pain. A study claimed that one in 3,800 people in the UK develop CRPS each year, but many cases may go undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. And three out of four cases are women. I started Burning Light CRPS support uh, back in 2014 simply because there was nothing out there. There was no charity, there was no support, there was nothing. And I felt that people needed to be made aware of the condition and they needed support. The best results I see are people who use the limb as often as possible and the best results I see uh, are with people who get referred as early as possible. We're going to see more use of cannabinoid uh, type drugs because of the, the legalisation process. Uh, in North America that will spill over into the Western Europe. We're going to see more personalised medicine from genomic research and we'll see a tailoring of personalised medicine to some of the, the, the newer uh, immune modulating medications that have shown some promise in CRPS. Victoria was named by Aspire magazine as the inspirational woman of the year 2016 and she's giving motivational speeches across the country. Age 24 thought my life was ahead of me. I accepted the award on behalf of uh, everyone that's been affected by CRPS because somebody is an inspiration to someone. I do what I do to leave a legacy um, to people in the future. <laughs>